Hello peeps, this is the trail, your trader is chick, where we trade indicator free other than the 21 EMA. Green day today, chanting the word obvious, obvious in my head to keep myself in check. I saw a few things that I would have taken, but said to myself, no, wait for the obvious and it'll go your way quickly. I did miss a big move from the top of the trading range's measured move, but you know, you can't catch them all. Patience, pounce, profit, rinse and repeat. I took two trades today for two wins. Let's review. My first trade, I took a lower high to the bottom of the trading range. Now, and later, if you were in chat, you'll notice that I'll draw a downtrend channel and right where I went in at the top of that wick is touching the top of that trend channel as well. So, you know, I'm trying to remember, yes, we're going sideways, but the overall bias is down. So playing those setups in that direction more times than none will go in your way will go your way because you know I mm, I hesitated a little bit because it looks like the EMA was holding prices but once I dropped the sideways trend channel I felt more comfortable like yeah I think I could take this one I was hoping it would poke out of the bottom but you know you can't have it all my second trade, I took a pivot candle at the key entry point. While I was watching, ugh, while I was watching, oh my god, prices go sideways in this smaller trend trading range. Clearly, I need more coffee. Okay, while I'm watching prices go sideways in this trading range, I was looking for two legs back to the EMA, but that never happened. And then it finally pushed through the bottom of the trading range, hitting the uptrend channel and hitting the bottom and hitting the EMA. And since it was a pivot candle, I felt that was like three or four times confluence. It's not a second entry. It's almost like a third entry long. I don't know, but I just felt, you know, how strong the candle was and the way everything was lining up that it was just safe to at least get a scalp and also I was hoping it would break out of the top and you know give mama a little more but <sighs> refer to my previous statement yeah I can't have it all here's a quick snip of today's performance so at this point in the week since it is a short week we're just eating away at the red day from yesterday. So trying to get back on track so we can make the most out of our 19 to 22 trading days so we could have a green month. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's quick little video. And if you made it to the end, I appreciate you for watching. Shout out to those who joined me in the live stream this morning. If you missed it, I'll link the video replay here. Be sure to check us out tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. on Twitch for the simulcast. And, you know, shout out to all of you who stuck through the craziness that is my ISP. I don't know what's going on, but I think tomorrow I'm going to start stream a half hour early. There'll be nothing to see. It'll probably say offline or something. And I'm just going to let my ISP work through the kinks because clearly it takes about a good 30 minutes before we're smooth sailing. So I don't want you to feel that I started the stream without you. So you won't miss anything. I'm just going to let it do whatever the heck it's doing for those first 30 minutes and then at 7 30 we'll continue on as normal hopefully with no hiccups. See you then.